yeah, most men are average because they don't go to the gym first and foremost. And when I say the word average, average is not a bad thing. Average just means you just do what's common. What everybody else do is just it's just the norm. And some people are content being average. But if you don't trying to, if you're not content being with average, I think you need to do three things personally. This is me. I'm not my answers or my solution is not to be all in now. This is just what I believe and what I think. First thing first, I think every man should be in the gym at least three times a week minimum. It's too many soy boys out here that got titties bigger than a woman. It's too many of y'all who stomach who hang lower than your nuts, man. Your balls are supposed to drop since puberty. Your, your stomach shouldn't be like this. Or when you're at the stall, you shouldn't be have to lift your stomach up to pee. I mean, how is that even a pleasing to you? Now, how do you look at yourself in the mirror and say, damn, this is really the best version of myself. And I'm proud of myself. Man, come on, man. That's crazy. You know that and we know that. That's why I always say the best version of you starts at the gym. I say it's That's why I say it starts at the gym. It conditions you to be accountable, have a consistency, to be disciplined. A lot of y'all don't have that. So get your ass in the gym, man. Get rid of them man tips, man. That's not attractive. That's not player, man. Come on. What are we doing? Number two, um, you guys have no goals, no plans, no purpose, or no mission, or you don't know what your purpose or your mission is. Some of y'all just wake up to fail, <laughs> letting life guide you. You just coast it through life and just doing whatever comes your way. Just sitting here like this. Well, today's the day. Something's going to fall out the sky into my lap. And this the day I'm going to start. Life does not work like that. Life works when you work. Let me say that again. Life works when you work. So when you figure out what it is that you want to do, that you're good at, that you want to invest in, that you're working towards, you're going to start to see more doors open up. My mama used to say and dad, when you put one foot forward, the other foot tends to follow, which means is when you put forth effort, things usually start to line up for you. But if you just sitting around just waiting on something to happen, just to happen, you need to be making it happen, you're just going to be stuck where you're at in the um, perpetual state of bull. Can I cuss? BS. I don't know if I can cuss on here. So, and I'm not saying you have to have it all together. What I'm saying is at least wake up to lay one brick down for your castle. Just one. You can't lay one brick down a day. So if you into fitness, man, you need to be looking up fitness. How can I brand myself as a fitness brand on YouTube? You guys got a smartphone. Do something smart with it. Instead of just doing the photogram and taking selfies and trying to pick up women, man, that's it's just killing your time and energy. My last one and final one is number three. You guys don't have no accountability. You're like a woman. You have no accountability for the things you say you want to do or the things you do do. Everything is someone else's fault. It's never yours. You never own anything. Someone else made you do it. They're the reason why I'm not here. Well, life don't care if it is or if it isn't. It's about what you did for me lately. What are you doing now? That's just how it works, okay? You can't say you want to be healthy, but you always at McDonald's eating Big Macs, always at the club taking shots with the boys instead of you being in the gym doing um working out you you working on your diet eating clean being the best version of you possible you can't we the universe is a receptor to the things that we that we say we want or we think about so if i say i want this but i'm in my heart i really want doing that it's going to give me that so you need to be more accountable because a lot of y'all not a lot of y'all just think y'all it's just life is a byproduct and and it's just a course but really, you're the byproduct of life. Acting out your 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 um, what do they call it? Your 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 thoughts that you want to manifest. And it's true. It's true. Forgive me if I'm I'm being a little choppy, but I'm trying to put this together where people can understand it. Because life is just it's it's just it's not a game, but it's it's a game once you understand the rules. I know that's a contradiction, but those who understand what I'm saying will get what I'm saying. So, you guys need to be more accountable, man. For what the things you got going on, the things that happen to you is your fault. The things that are not happening to you is your fault, okay? You are the captain of your ship. So whatever you tell it to go, it will sail. Get up, get off your behind, stop making excuses, start the day, okay? We're trying to be the best versions of ourselves that we can be. You know, and I don't expect you to have it all together, especially if you're in your 20s, man. This is your building phase. This is why I tell men to focus on your three L's, your fitness. Your finances and your faith. And when I say faith, I mean the things you believe in, your hobbies and stuff like that. And the rest will follow, man. Stop looking at us women as the, the be all end of a woman don't make a man. 
a man makes the woman because if you if you high value i hate that term high value are you a man of of, of means the world is yours man the world is yours they're gonna line up for you they got to get on your program